you know. So how many, um, it's been reported and you have said that there were occasions when uh, Joe Biden would call in with clients present on a speaker phone. Right. How, how many times do you think that happened? I mean, over a 10 year partnership, I would, um, you know, the number I'm going with is 20. That's probably the, the, the amount that I so kind of recommend. Yeah, a lot. You could say. So Joe Biden, who is very much a product of Washington, of course, must have known that he was calling in to effectively a business meeting that his son was having. I mean, he must have understood that 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 was kind of what his son was selling. Well, that's I mean, it's hard for me to speculate on that. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I guess my question, just to keep it to the facts, Joe Biden, then the sitting vice president, knew that there were Hunter's business associates in the room. Yeah, I think I can I can definitively say at particular dinners or meetings, he knew there were business associates and he, you know, we, or if I was there, I was a business associate too. Yeah. Um, so I think, or if, you know, any of the other colleagues from the DC office or the New York office were there. So yeah, at times there were from the, you know, to be, you know, completely clear on the calls. I don't know if it was an orchestrated call in or not. It certainly was powerful though, because you know, if you're sitting with a foreign business person and you hear the vice president's voice, that's prize enough. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty impactful stuff for anyone. It's, 